Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas spoke to George Stephanopoulos on Good Morning America about the assassination attempt. The Secretary of Homeland Security is speaking out two days after an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump took place at a Pennsylvania rally. On Saturday, July 13, Trump, 78, was on stage in Butler, Pennsylvania, when gunfire rang out. Trump was injured in the shooting, which killed one person and critically wounded two others. Trump, who was bloodied and rushed off stage by Secret Service agents, later said he was grazed by a bullet in a statement on his social media platform, Truth Social. The former president said he was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear, but stated that he was okay. It was determined that the gunman, identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was located on a roof about 400 feet from the stage Trump was on. Now, the head of Homeland Security has spoken out about the assassination attempt. While speaking to George Stephanopoulos on Good Morning America, Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas said, a direct line of sight like that to the former president should not occur. Mayorkas added, that is precisely why President Biden directed that an independent review of the incident occur. That will be done in close coordination with the FBI, which is conducting a separate criminal investigation, the importance of which cannot be overstated. We have to learn everything about the assailant, who, of course, the Secret Service so bravely and heroically neutralized, and we are going to really study the event independently and make recommendations to the Secret Service and to me so that we can assure the safety and security of our protectees, which is one of our most vital missions in the Secret Service, the Department of Homeland Security and across the government. Mayorkas also stated that the Secret Service is so very grateful that former President Donald Trump is okay and offered his condolences to the fatal victim at the rally, who was identified as 50-year-old former Fire Chief Corey Comperatore. Our hearts with the Comperatore family, Mayorkas said on GMA. They lost a father and a husband, and we are praying for those injured for a full and speedy recovery. A GoFundMe has been set up for the Comperatore family. CNN, citing an unidentified spokesperson, reports that the Secret Service did not sweep the building the gunman was atop before the rally. Instead, they allegedly relied on local law enforcement to monitor the area. People was not able to independently confirm this claim.